What's up everyone, I'm Average Owl, making average content for the average viewer. Although today, I have to say that that saying is a little bit inappropriate, as I'm super excited to say that I've had the help of four amazing YouTubers. Get Good Guy, Modest Pelican, Jaws and Dice Gaming Xbox. All of the links to their channels will be in the description, so please show them some love by checking out their videos and smashing that big red subscribe button. And if you're new here, I'd really, really appreciate the same. I feel so very lucky to have this opportunity, which is odd, because I usually have the sort of luck where if I fell into a barrel of tits, I'd come out sucking my thumb. I honestly couldn't have done this video without these guys, and I really hope you guys enjoy this one. In addition to this, I want to thank Dice Gaming Xbox even more because I had some major technical difficulties with my gameplay and ended up losing everything. So, all of these clips are courtesy of him, and let me tell you, they are smoother than a porn star's ass that's been shaved by a Turkish barber. Yeah, that smooth. So let's get on with it, shall we? The life cycle of Battlefield 5 so far has been turbulent to say the very least. Members from all across the community have been extremely upset with how the devs have handled this game. So I thought, rather than you have to listen to me droning on about these problems, I'd ask the valued opinions of some of the other amazing creators from this community to hear a better overview of some of the things they hate about this franchise that so many of us love. The first creator I want to introduce you to is honestly one of the classiest and humble guys I've had the honour to speak to, despite having nearly quarter of a million subscribers. Now, as a general rule of thumb, aquatic birds tend to be pretty hydrated, but Modest Pelican here has to be more hydrated than any other mortal being on this planet. What have you got to say, man? Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here, featuring on Average Owl's gaming channel where the content is actually above average, like the length of my beak. And you know what they say about those with big beaks, don't you? That they have big hearts and big penises. So what do people hate about Battlefield? Well that's easy, they hate selfish malakas. Are you a support player who doesn't give out ammunition? Well then I've got a tip for you. Go down to your local gas station, buy a condom, put it on, and then go fuck yourself because you are genuinely worse than Hitler. Are you a medic player who never revives anyone? Well then I highly advise you take your little syringe out that you don't use and poke it into your own eye socket. Remember, there is no eye in Battlefield. Well, there's actually one which really ruins this, but the point is, don't be a selfish malacca. Thanks man, literally only Modest Pelican could fit a penis joke, a Hitler joke, and tell people to stick needles in their eyes, all in under two minutes. That's why we love you. I would like to just add a disclaimer to this, please don't shove needles in your eyes. The gaming community is having enough issues at the moment without a load of wank medics running around with girt needles sticking out of their eyes. Next up on the roster is a smaller creator from across the pond, Jaws. This guy has the sort of voice that you'd be happy to listen to even if he was reading the fucking dictionary. What do you hate, man? Campers. Camping is an issue in most shooter games, but BF5 has turned it into some kind of art form. From guns that are only effective when camping to having the in-game visibility of a one-eyed bat, campers can be extremely powerful and are encouraged to utilize said playstyle. Running past an inconspicuous piece of cover, MMG to the back. Casually capping the objective, boys AT rifle to the toe. Camping is an epidemic, except not the kind where the wrong animals mix spit and made a super virus, it's the one where DICE injected a patient with super aids, thinking it would cure the common cold, and the resulting effects were a fully invisible soldier, laying prone with an upgraded MG42 and no muzzle flash that wave after wave of poor soldiers fell to. Obviously, you can't hate the players. The weapons were put into the game by DICE, and you can't say you aren't allowed to use these guns in a $60 game that you also bought. You want to play how you want. Again, the encouragement to go prone all the time mixed with the horrific visibility is a cancerous combo that I hope is remedied to some degree soon. For now though, keep it classy and reserve all hate towards fellow Battlefield players for angry faps with sad tears of salt. Yeah man, if I got a pound for every time I was killed by some dweeb hiding in the shadows, not moving, I'd have more money than Battlefield 5 has bugs. Well actually, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. The next chap I've had the pleasure to be working with is an amazing YouTuber who I've been following since Battlefield 1. He's sharp, he's funny, and he's definitely not afraid to speak his mind. Just go easy on my subscribers, hey? What are you saying, get good guy? 
Alright people, get good guy here, your resident Battlefield 5 criticizer. And obviously when average old gaming gave me the opportunity to spit some truths about this title without receiving the backlash of my own comment section, well I snapped it up faster than Modest Pelican does add up content, if you know what I'm saying. No, but all jokes aside, what I really hate about Battlefield 5 is how it baited me. And moreover, how it baited the community. Baited us into thinking we were going to get things that we just didn't. I'll try to fit this into my short little time slot here today, so... I built my subscriber base on Battlefield 1, focused almost entirely on Battlefield rather than variety, with the idea that the next game would catapult me to far greater things, as is usually the case with gaming content creation, but my next game was Battlefield 5. Imagine how that feels now. But it's not all about me. What about the community? Well, let's bullet point this. There's going to be downed ally body dragging in the game, which has since been cancelled. There will be vehicle skin customization, hashtag coming soon. Pre-order the deluxe edition for extra gear drops on a regular basis. Turns out to be just pieces of skin sets that nobody cares about. Here are a load of modes that you know and love and will add even more. Front lines and domination end up being removed as permanent modes. Here is an array of servers to join so you can get a solid connection. UK ends up having literally all of its servers removed. Hey Asia, you can play the game too, you know. Massive cheating problem emanating predominantly from China but also other countries goes pretty much unchanged checked for around 9 months. There will be Tides of War to keep the game fresh and varied. Tides of War ends up being a standard model of content integration that is actually completely uninspired, lacking in actual fresh content and featuring delays and disappointments. There will be the usual rank leveling system to keep you invested in playing the game. Majority of players reach max rank within a week or so and are still waiting for it to be increased 3 quarters of a year later. We fixed this problem in the game for you. Oh it's a month later and for some reason it's back plus other ones. But we've added this fresh thing into the game. Oh, but it also brings with it a whole new set of bugs. I mean, is that enough? <laughs> I feel like that's enough. I could go on, but I think you get the idea. I got baited, you got baited, we all got baited, and I genuinely hate that that happened. But I don't hate you. Now be sure to have a great day. Cheers, my dude. We will have a nice day after hearing from you. I'd just like to take this opportunity to ask you guys what you think. Let me know in the comments what it is that you hate most about Battlefield. With that out of the way, I would love to introduce you to another smaller YouTuber and a personal friend of mine, Dice Xbox Gaming. He's a great creator with some amazing Battlefield skills, and he's from the north of England too, so when you play Xbox with him, you can pretend you're talking to Peter K. Can I get a garlic bread in the comments? Hi guys, Dice here, welcome to Ollie's latest video. This is my segment on the things we hate most about Battlefield. For me, it's the inconsistency of the community and how we always want something and we are just, as a general rule, never happy with what's provided. So I'm not going to touch on all the subjects in detail, just the examples that I think will help prove the case. So first off, we have Premium. After Battlefield 1, people were begging DICE not to put Premium in the game. So DICE released Battlefield 5 with no premium. However, now people are begging to have premium back because they're worried about the lock of content. Next up, we have the TTK problems. So on Battlefield 5's release initially, we had a very quick TTK that was put in for, well, to please the Battlefield 5 veterans. However, Upon release and after a few weeks, it was a, there was a lot of casuals moaning about the TTK time to kill being too quick and they didn't have time to react and respond. So DICE changed that, they made it a bit more casual, more what I would say BF1 was with the TTK. And then again we had everyone up in arms, all the veterans, all the people who like the hardcore-ish type gameplay and game style that they were happy so again DICE reverts it back to the original TTK and that brings me back to the point of the video is that we as a community are one of the worst things about Battlefield 5 and our inability to just agree yeah I completely agree and can see where you're coming from dude People can be so fickle at times. 
So lastly, I'd like to add my 10 cents to the conversation. And to be honest, a lot of what I wanted to say has been covered by my peers here. But the one thing that I really want to add to this is the one thing that I think most Battlefield players can agree on as being the thing that they hate most is the fact that Battlefield 5 could have been so much more. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Battlefield 5 at its core is a great game. The graphics are amazing and the gunplay is tighter than the millionaire neighbour who still makes his kids share one ice cream cone. The reason that so many fans are angry is not actually that they hate Battlefield, but the opposite. For years the franchise has been an amazing and immersive experience and one that we had all come to know and love, but with Battlefield 5 we have all been completely and utterly let down by the bugs and the crashes and just how the game has been handled. The only silver lining that we can hope to get from this is that the next Battlefield game can learn from these mistakes and we will be treated to a game that truly deserves this amazing community. That's about it for today. I have to say again a massive thank you to Modest Pelican, Get Good Guy, Jaws and especially Dice Gaming Xbox for making this video happen. I really couldn't have done it without you guys. If you like this content and you want to see more, I plan on sticking around for a long long time. This is just the start of this channel, but if you subscribe right now, you can write comments in 5 years saying that you were an OG before Average Old Gaming took over PewDiePie. That's it for today, I'm Average Old, peace.